What's going on Raider Nation? It's JT coming at you with a uh, news episode of the Raider Cast, your podcast for everything silver and black. Uh, I'm a little bit late, you know, I was very busy yesterday and I could not make a video. This is why I'm making it this morning, this is why my voice sounds tired, this is why I look exhausted. <laughs> um, but Jonathan Abram was released last night. Um, I think it was a long time coming. Um, it makes sense to me. Uh, some people were very confused by the timing of it, but um, couldn't trade him. Uh, you wanted to trade him the whole time. You gave him a bunch of snaps to see what he could do. Put some film on, um, you know, on tape for him to use or for us to use. <laughs> and the last two weeks, he was not used a lot. The week before the trade deadline, probably didn't want him to get hurt just in case. And then this past week is because he wasn't traded and we didn't want him anymore. So... We release him. We give him a chance to find another job before the end of the season because we obviously weren't going to keep him. So I think this makes sense. I mean, our defense is already like kind of bad. Um, I don't know how much losing Abram helps or hurts us. Um, we'll see. I don't know what kind of changes we're going to have because I mean, we could bring up Palomao from the practice squad because right now we only have Murray, Duran Harmon, and we have Rod Derek Teamer on the on the squad that's safeties. So we're going to obviously have to bring up some. Uh, practice squad players to fill those roles. Uh, we also signed officially uh, S Sydney Jones, um, which um, again I'm a little bit late for, but I'm gonna compile it into one video, which I think is a good get. Uh, he was he had a lot of you know he had high hopes in Seattle, didn't do too well. They obviously have a lot of rookies that um, he just lost his place in rotation. I think he didn't do too well. He just lost his place in rotation with all the rookies that were coming in, all the all the all the free agents that they got um, just surpassed him. Um, not saying that he's a bad player, it's kind of like Hankins uh, being kicked out of the Raiders or released from the Raiders or traded from the Raiders. Um, it's just the same thing. Uh, not that he's a bad player, but he just lost his spot. Give him another chance he's gonna get a job somewhere else and he came to the Raiders, which is awesome. Uh, so let's see if he can help the secondary at all because our secondary is hurting right now, especially with Hobbs out, uh, missing Hobbs desperately right now in that secondary. Um, this is the last week without Hobbs. I'm sure he's coming back next week. Uh, we also lost just lost Stephen Diablo to the IR. So we only have three linebackers right now on the roster that are that were like starters at the beginning. Actually, we only have two left. Uh, Perryman and Jam Brown. Martinez was at midseason. Uh, Masterson is going to have to step up. Mary bring up Darian Butler a little bit too. I don't know, but we need to we need to figure something out in the linebacker position because <laughs> it's not been going good. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Just a bunch of little roster moves. Um, our defense is probably still going to be about 24 points per game. Um, I'm going to get into you know, what I think the game is like in the pregame show I'm going to have with NJ Raider Nation. So obviously stay tuned for that. That's always a fun video to do with him. Uh, I appreciate all the support recently. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys end up having a great day today. And peace out, Raider Nation.